My name is Nicole. My course is Psychology in Education and I've just finished my third year. So my hometown is London, born and raised. My channel name is Nicole Veronica and I speak mainly about school, uni, a bit of fashion and beauty and lifestyle. So I initially wanted to choose psychology because I've been fascinated by the subject for quite a few years after doing it for A-level. But I was worried about doing psychology and then maybe getting bored along the way. Now with this course at Bristol, it meant that I could do other disciplines such as education, a bit of sociology, philosophy, as well as that I had the opportunity to do a placement in my second year. And I think only, I think this was the only course in the country that allowed me to do a placement alongside studying. And I really wanted to get the chance to experience sort of like a workplace setting while studying to get a better understanding as to what I want to do when I graduate. So I've, as the years have gone on, I've enjoyed it more. And I think that's mainly because I got to pick more of the units that I enjoyed and I got to personalise my course more. So I did psychology, sociology, English Lit, photography and biology. I feel like psychology did in a sense that it gave me that grounding for the course. But what was good is in first year, they basically taught us the, it's called intro into psychology. So everyone got the same teaching. And I find that sociology and English Lit really helped me with the essays. I'd say probably psychology because it allowed me to already have the knowledge of that discipline before coming to university. So I was a lot more confident than some people who hadn't done psychology before and didn't know what they were getting themselves into. Yeah. So I'd say worst is the hills because it's very hilly and it's it can be quite tiring getting to lectures and for my course particularly we're not centralised in one building so I have to go all around the campus to get to my lectures which can be a bit tiring. Also there's quite a high pressure because it is quite a prestigious university you kind of feel the pressure and sometimes it does feel quite quite an intense learning environment but then also that can be quite positive as well because then it kind of motivates you to want to study as well. I'd say the research so because it is a Russell group you've got a lot a lot of people who are top top in their, their game in their field and what's inspiring is a lot of the stuff that we'll learn to do like our coursework for example the lecturers will be teaching us as well as like them doing the research as well for example there's this program i don't know if you've heard of secret life of a five-year-old that was on channel four which oh. five, i think was. the guy who created that was one of our lecturers and we, i had to do like a lab report on it and it was just it's just really exciting to be to feel like you're involved in their research so in my first year i lived in a hall called durden and it was self-catered on suite and it was on in bristol you've got the city center accommodation which is within the campus and then stoke bishop which is where i was which was a 20 minute bus ride away from the campus and that's where i was I really liked it. I liked the fact that there was other accommodation there. So it's kind of like a little student village. There was about, I think, six or seven other halls. So I could go visit my friends and just kind of like walk around the little village to find other friends and stuff, which is quite good. And also the bus goes straight into the, it's like a bus stop right outside my halls. So it wasn't too much of an issue that it wasn't close. And also it was very social for first year. That's kind of what I liked. Like it was quite sociable. I moved to a house so in my second year I moved to a house of six and we moved a little bit closer into an area which we knew quite a lot of second years would go so it was good a lot of our friends were there and we had friends that were opposite us behind us all in our area which is quite fun. It was very different and sort of like no one really prepares you for it because in first year for my halls particularly everything was included in the cost so you just had to pay a monthly rent but in that there was the water bill everything was included and then when you get to your house you have to sort out bills water wi-fi like we had to all sort that out and we had to make sure that like everyone was doing the bills make sure we pay who's doing what and it was a lot definitely a lot more responsibility and you had to think about things a lot more in my third year i moved into um again sort of like um accommodation but it was like with an estate agent but I moved into a flat 
and again there were six of us but I was right in the heart of the city which I really liked because I was literally five ten minute walking distance from everything and in my first and second year I didn't like how far I was from everything and I'd just waste a lot of money on Ubers and buses whereas in my final year I was just close to everything which was really convenient. I think it all depends for like where you want to be but for where I was in the student village there's this accommodation called uni university halls and it's significantly cheaper than all of the halls in Stoke Bishop and if I, I didn't realise that university halls was in Stoke Bishop because I wanted to be in Stoke Bishop so if I knew that it was there I probably would have picked it because you're basically getting the same but it's just like a little bit smaller and it's a lot cheaper as well but then there is city centre halls which are significantly cheaper so I think it, it kind of just varies like how far you want to be and like if you're not on suite or not but I'm kind of happy with my halls because I did get an ensuite and that was something that I was that I really wanted yeah so the Bristol nightlife is really good it it lives up to what people say it is and as much as like we don't like to say like one of the reasons I did go is because I did hear a good a good reputation about Bristol and I wanted the whole package I wanted somewhere where I could study somewhere where I could live as well as somewhere where I could get that university experience per se and I like how Bristol have literally I can't even I don't even think I can think off the top of my head the amount of clubs and like bars and pubs we have but I, I find it's good because it caters for everyone so it's like whether you just want to have a couple pints and go home or you actually want to go to a club or an event there's so many different types of music there's hidden bars there's like secret bars there's so many different spoons and pubs so I find for you like for university life it's perfect and you can't really go wrong so I, I always compare Bristol and London I say Bristol is like a mini London so Bristol's very compact whereas London to get from A to B you'll have to get like a bus or a tube whereas Bristol you can literally walk and on the same road there's a pub there's a cinema there's so much there's like a Sainsbury's so I definitely prefer Bristol in a sense that it's everything's sort of closer but it does really feel like London because there is a lot going on and if we go into the food is there a lot of a variety of good variety of food or is it your basics like Nando's Domino's and McDonald's so there's such variety of different types of food and cuisine and there's from like the sort of like mainstream like Nando's and um, Five Guys but then you've also got really small local independent uh, sort of restaurants and cafes which is really nice and it's good for veganism it's actually voted number one city in the country for veganism because they have loads of different sort of like um stalls they have food festivals as well there's literally so many different types of food places there's, i haven't even tried half of them and i've been there for three years now for like all my best all my best times have been in this club called lakota but i think they're closing it down but that i've had like all the best all the best times and it's kind of like far out it's more further out and a lot of people who go to University of West England go to that club because it's sort of like nearer their campus but I just find it's always so much fun it but more into sort of like the centre of Bristol there's a club called Gravity which a lot of people do go to because there's sports night there or, or Lizard Lounge it's called The Lounge I think they've like changed it but I think I definitely say Lakota is my favourite club Lakota or Motion I'd say be open to people, to meeting new people, to trying new experiences because I don't think at any other point in your life you're going to meet so many different people, you're going to try so many different things. University is literally, I think, that one time where you should, if anything, if you're someone who's reluctant to be open to these kind of things, you should really be open. I also say um, sort of be patient and non-judgmental because people are really different and a lot of people like universities are international and you've met you'll meet a lot of people that have been brought up very differently um and they may not have the same sort of customs as you so i think it's best to sort of be non-judgmental if anything patient and i'd say last thing definitely make the most of the experience everyone i know who's like gone through uni has always said like they want everyone who's a fresher, everyone who's a first year, to literally take all opportunities and grab them with both hands. I'd probably say the same. I'd say, um, I think for Bristol specifically, I'd say be yourself. Because a lot of people 
in first year I guess it's not just Bristol specific but a lot of people try to be someone they're not and as time goes on the cracks start to show and I think if you just remain being true to yourself even if you may struggle finding friends in the beginning your true friends do come in the end and you'll find you'll find your people Michael's um I would say I'd say mm, do the readings because they help especially if you haven't done psychology before and also to, to to try your best because I found particularly for my course a lot of the lecturers because my my year was the first year to do this course so we were the first cohort and as as years were going on they were perfecting the course but I know the lecturers are really keen for us to do well and they've even said that and I just think if you sort of try and you put in the effort as well as like asking them for help you'll do well so my placement it was integrated so in my second year I did work I worked in my placement but it was once a week alongside studying I absolutely loved it so I had my placement on a Wednesday and it meant that I'd have lectures on the Monday and then I have placement and it was like a nice way to break up the week because it was something different but then I could come back and I also wasn't if I took a year out I feel like I'd be missing out on being with my friends and there'd be the stress of finding a house after but it just meant that I was still in Bristol but I got to experience doing a work placement alongside studying and I really liked it yeah so I worked in a hospitality agency so doing events like music festivals and there's the stadium in Bristol so there was like for example like the rugby the rugby matches I'd be waiting for tables and drinks like that and stuff like that also I worked with the uni so I'd do some stewarding jobs sometimes if there was an open day and as well as I did tutoring as well so just like flexible flexible jobs where I could wow. work it around my timetable yeah so I found we have a careers portal called my careers and if you go on they've got specifically jobs for us if we wanted to apply in internships and they really do sort of like try to make sure that we know that there are jobs for us to get if we wanted to work alongside our studies or post-graduation yeah so I've done quite a few societies so I've I've done cheer dance musical theatre gymnastics trampolining music um I did recently I did this society where um it was called make a smile and we basically raised money for charities and then we, we, we get costumes and we go to children's hospitals or schools and we like put on parties for them. So like I've done all different um, societies. I really did make make use of the societies that were there. Yeah, so before coming to uni, I thought that Freshers Week was basically like a party, like the whole week would just be party, like partying and stuff. But it was very much introductory. I had quite a few, I had quite a few lectures, but they were all kind of like welcome to Bristol and sort of like finding, fight, helping us to find our feet. There was also welcome events, which was quite useful. We had a lot of talks as well. Like we had this massive talk for Stoke Bishop, the area where my halls were, and they literally put hundreds of us in this hall and basically gave us this talk and was basically just letting us know about uni and everything but it was quite busy actually and then we also we had the freshers fair as well so I I kind of always knew that I wanted to go university after doing my A-levels because that kind of seemed like that was the step I should take for in order for me to go down the psycho psychological route and or potentially into research and I can't become a psychologist for example without a degree so I kind of was like, this is, this is the path I have to take. So I knew that was the sensible thing if I wanted to become a psychologist. Yeah, so my YouTube channel is basically a bit of, I've got a bit of beauty and fashion. I, did, I literally did a cooking video the other day because I'm in quarantine. I'm like, I might as well make the most of my time. But it's mainly about university and school. I do, I touch on A-level subjects and also my Bristol experience because I really want to give a student-led perspective of the university experience from a first-hand experience because there's a, a lot of the time you'll read reviews and you'll read sort of things about a course for example or accommodation but a lot of the time it's written by admissions or older people who've never even been to Bristol or never even been to the university so I think when the when like my viewers or people watching my channel 
actually hear it from my mouth and they know like oh this person's lived it it's kind of it's almost like encouraging to hear someone else say it and to know more about for example Bristol or my university yeah so I'm going on to do a master's in neuroscience and I didn't realize that you could do kind of something different because obviously I've done a psychology undergrad but for when I was applying to do my neuroscience master's they do have some subjects that they say that you have to have done before so like it was like for example psychology neuroscience there was quite a few but sometimes they do let you do it if you've never even done it before so as I was saying my friend she's done a maths undergrad but she wants to do psychology masters so she's doing a psychology conversion and the difference between undergrad and masters which I've been learning as I've as I've gone because obviously I've never done it before is the funding and sort of the process so when I applied for my masters I applied directly to the university not for UCAS and I did my personal statement and you have to tailor the personal statement to the university it's not kind of like for example I know for UCAS you had a certain amount of characters you had to put all your choices and that was that but for universities you have to do it you have to tailor it to what their admission statements want for each university as well as that the funding is different so if you did want funding through student finance it's non-means tested so it means that you can basically take out as much funding as you wanted whereas for undergrad it depends on your household income for example and it's kind of like it's a different it's a completely different process in that respect and also things are a bit later as well in terms of the academic year no it doesn't matter so I initially I was looking to I was like what psychology group the masters could I do because that is essentially what I want to go into but a lot of my friends have done an undergrad and are doing a master's in something completely different but it depends on the university and it depends on the course so for example like I couldn't do a master's in maths I could not like at all unless I you know I may have had to I may have to do some sort of entrance exam or something but I don't think you can but it obviously varies and it's something that is university specific so I definitely recommend anyone who's applying to masters you have to look specifically at that university and what they require as opposed to making a personal statement and then tailoring it to different universities for any of those who are interested follow my channel at nicole veronica on youtube i'll be posting more consistent content about uni or anything really i find that a lot of people have been commenting down below for example i've done a first year review of bristol and someone was like can you do a hair a hair routine so i might do a bit of fun things I do like hair and beauty as well so I might do a bit of everything just kind of what people want and um, my Instagram is Nicole underscore Veronica underscore I also have a blog which I'll, I'll put I'll send you the link of kind of like what I speak about with like uni and advice and things like that and I'd say a piece of advice just make I say definitely make the most of every opportunity so at university in life and also this is particularly something that I've been doing and it's kind of made me overcome my anxiety with YouTube. If you want to do something, you should just do it. And as long as it doesn't upset anyone, doesn't offend anyone, if you enjoy something, you should just go for it. And that's really what I've been doing with my YouTube. I've just been putting it out there, trying to help people. I enjoy it. And if that's something that people want to do, you want to do, then you should just definitely go for it. <laughs>